data is in the news a lot these days because you know we're giving away so much data when we use our cell phones and the web and companies are losing data when they get hacked and everyone's trying to use data to make better decisions now this is going to be a very introductory uh, lesson on data analysis you could take a statistics class and learn all sorts of cool things um, but for this we're gonna we're gonna keep it at a lower level all right you are gonna have a few notes to take as we're going through this and then you're gonna use what we learned to analyze some data that I collected from Netflix all right so we have two types of data we have quantitative and this is what most people think of because these are the numbers these are things that can be counted right how many pets does somebody have how old is somebody right these are th these are quantitative types of data and with quantitative if you're confused of what type of data it is look at two numbers and if saying one is larger than another and that makes sense that's quantitative or if averaging the numbers gives you a meaningful number then that also would mean that it's quantitative data you know your height is an example of quantitative data and so we like this kind of data because it's very easy to crunch the numbers so to speak the other type is called qualitative so it's non-numeric even if it is numbers they're not representing numeric data so you could have labels so like what religion people are what is their um, political affiliation you know what class are they in and with this larger doesn't make sense so if you were looking at a hockey team and you looked at number 62 you know and then another player was number 23 the fact that 62 is bigger than 23 that doesn't mean anything right they're just they're labels averaging doesn't make sense either right so we don't say well our employee IDs average is that like what why would you average employee IDs those are labels they're not actually numeric and so you know eye color other things that you might collect even though there could be a certain number of these things you know like we have five people with hazel and three people with brown eyes the data itself is qualitative so let's see if we can figure this out so here this is um, a screenshot from one of the the tables we're going to be looking at so title of TV show is that qualitative or quantitative all right that's qualitative because they're labels the rating so is it TVMA TVPG that is going to be qualitative the year released okay so here we have numbers but if we found the average year they were released is that going to make a whole lot of sense you know if you ended up with 2016.3 probably not these are labels so that's qualitative okay the user rating so the rating users have given each show now we could average those we could you know a 99 is definitely better than a 71 so that's quantitative the number of views so how many times was a show watched again averaging one larger than another means it was viewed more times so that makes sense so that's going to be quantitative is it a Netflix original all right that's a label so that'll be qualitative and then the type of programming so is it a TV show a series versus a movie that's also a label so that'll be qualitative all right so once we have our data we're gonna do a little analysis <clears throat> first thing you need to do what are the hypotheses like what do you expect this data to tell you so if, if I'm you know just taking a quick look some thoughts come to me come to my mind so are Netflix originals more popular than the other types of programming that they pick up are shows that are rated higher so in this rating TVMA versus TV 14 or TV PG are they rated as more popular you know the more adult content the more people like it or are series rated higher than movies so like TV shows since you know they might have a bad episode but like overall you really like the sh you know the series versus if a movie has some bad parts well the whole movie kind of takes so these are three hypotheses that maybe I can find out by analyzing the data one t way to analyze data is descriptive so we're just summarizing this is when people talk about crunching the numbers this is exactly what they're talking about so finding averages the frequency distribution where you you know an average can be sort of misleading if you have a lot of high numbers but then like a really low one kind of pulls that average down 
Whereas a frequency distribution, we would see that more people answered in the 90s than anywhere else, and there was only a couple that were that were low. And you can parse the data how you want. So we could, you know, sort it so we're only averaging averaging Netflix originals to find out what their average rating is versus the you know the non Netflix originals, or we could sort it by the TV rating and find out if the TVMA is rated higher than TV PG or whatnot. So this is all descriptive using the data that we've got there. Limitations, it can misrepresent what it's showing and it isn't very deep. Think about if, you know, we use this for a baseball player. So their batting average, oh, they're batting, you know, 315. Okay, but that doesn't tell us how many of those are singles, how many of those are home runs, right? It doesn't tell us how often they have been up to bat, and so we need more data. It, it's not, it isn't very deep. Another way to analyze the data is using exploratory means. So here's where we, we think of like visual representations. Here's where the charts fall in. So you want to find some trends and some patterns, right? Visual representation helps us to do that really, really quickly. And it also usually offers up new questions because then you start to look at relationships and you're like, well, is there some factor that's missing? So what story does the data tell? You know, what new questions arise? These are the types of things we would expect. The limitation is you're limited to the data that was collected, right? So you come up with new questions you have to do more research to find it. You have to go out and resurvey people. And perceived trends might be due to something that we don't know. So if Netflix originals are higher quality, right, and so they have a higher rating, but actually it's because they're advertised to, you know, there's more advertising surrounding those, so more people watch. Well, we didn't look for advertising anywhere in here, right? So we assume the number of views means that it's more popular because it's higher quality, whereas it could be only because of advertising. So we're limited in a, in a few ways. So you now are going to watch the next video to learn how to do the assignment.